Hi guys, on this very special episode on my channel, we will be discussing structure because we are part of Wordstock 5, so stick around. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is L.R. Rutherford and I am an independently published romance author. Today we're going to be talking about structure because Robert Jones, the story detective, has asked me to be on his new Wordstock 5. This topic on structure is something that I personally have had trouble with putting into words. I am a pantser, which means that I write by the seat of my pants. Sometimes I'll cross over and do a little bit of very loose outlining, but for the most part, I am, am how I am in my normal life, and that is a hot mess. So, what can I give you about structure? Well, I've noticed that a lot of other author tubers that are doing Wordstock 5 are covering all the basics. Plot lines, acts, they're dividing it into different ways and series and characters and different catalyst that you need to have in all of your novels. So I wanted to make mine a little different. Let's be real. Structure is something that you need to have in every novel, but it doesn't mean that you have to get the structure perfect right away. A first draft or a zero draft is just what that is, a first draft. It's not the only draft and it is not the end all be all. I think what makes a good story a great story is the ability for the writer to change their mind. Meaning, you may have a story for one thing that you think is going to be golden and then you have to go and you change because you realize these characters are boring, they're dull, there's not enough conflict, and there's not enough drama. So your job as the creator of this compilation is to make sure that all the pieces fit like a big puzzle. You have to isolate each character, make sure that they have internal and external conflict, and please, for the love of God, make sure that every scene you have drives the plot. What does that mean? Don't have scenes that are not necessary. Cut out all the external info. Focus on what the reader needs to know to get you from the beginning of your story to the end of the story and have the message be known. Now that being said, that doesn't mean that there can't be internal struggles, internal conflicts, internal things, those have to be part of it. But you need to make sure that the A plot and the B plot, or the external conflicts and the internal conflict are woven together. One of my favorite ways to do this is to read novels that I love the story to and study them, and keep them in the back of my mind whenever I'm going to write my own story. Now, when I say I study stories that I like, I don't just study stories that I'm told to read in school or that other people that I like say are great. You don't have to like Stephen King. You don't have to like J.K. Rowling. You don't have to like um, anybody that is famous out there or that is on the cap aisle of every bookstore. What you do need to have is your own voice and your own style. And sometimes you're going to like things that not all popular readers will. But the important thing is that you read. If you can't tell me three books off the top of your head that you absolutely love the character development, the story, the plot outline, then you aren't reading and studying your field enough. So my tip for this whole story structure thing is you need to make sure that by the end of your final draft, everything builds towards one big conclusion. That both the internal and external plots are interweaved and that you have conflict. You can't be afraid of confrontation as a writer. I, myself, Lauren, on the outside world, I don't like confrontation with other people. But in my books, if I don't have confrontation, then that's boring. That's like when you're stuck at camp with the person who has lived a perfect life, has never had anything bad happen to them, and grew up watching VeggieTales their whole life. Good for them, that's the dream, but it's boring after 10 minutes. You need to make sure that you're putting your characters in dynamic situations and giving them the tools that they need and hiding tools that they have to find in order to finish your story. 
I hope that this helps. I hope that you watch all the other author tubers that are involved in Wordstock 5 and make sure that you're following them, you're liking their videos, and you're subscribing. Thank you so much, Robert, for letting me be involved. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I hope to see you at the next Wordstock. Bye. Structure is something that I had a trouble with. I had a trouble with. I had a trouble with. See, I had so much trouble with structure, I couldn't even say it right.